Good evening, this is Quirrell. Just wrapping up some of the ranked games that I had. Uh, this is a pretty fun game that uh, Shimakaze players will uh, will like. Going over the matchmaking, uh, looking at a Radar Minotaur, a Moskva, Z52 Shimakaze, it grows a boy rounding out the matchmaking. Um, this is another one of those games about watching, waiting for an opportunity, and uh, then just going for it. Kind of the, the game plan that I'm thinking here with Wooster and Henry. Wooster working uh, the northern end of C-Cap with Henry working the um, 9 and 10 line. You can clear out a lot of crap down here on C-Cap. Um, if I had a Henry, I would, and was playing it in this uh, map for ranked, I would think long and hard about about going here um, just because it can be it can really put a lot of pressure on uh, on enemy teams and I mean unless they're pushing you know a battleship or you know a Des Moines or, or something like that at close range you know around this island um, it's you would tend to have a pretty good advantage on on things So my Haragumo is headed out to the 1-2. I don't really like using Haragumo for this role. Um, I think it's a better better played as a cruiser than a destroyer. Um, but I mean, it, it it is possible to push right into destroyers and uh, just beat them up when, when you spot them. The issue is if you run into something like a Shimakaze, a player like me is uh, probably going to try to predictive torp you. So I am actually not running the F3 torpedoes at the moment. I'm running 12 kilometers. For some reason, the matchmaking to, uh, this day had just. Moskva spam right left and center uh, you know so many games with you know Stalin Moskva's and usually you know two or more in the matchmaker so you know I was just more useful with the 12 kilometer torps at that time I'm not really sure why they smoked up there but you know whatever um, maybe somebody got spotted, I, I don't know, but at this point I'm starting to take a look around and I can see that on RPF the DDs are going, um, uh, towards C cap. I see this Yamato sitting there on B cap and I know this guy is just going to be trying to shoot over here. I do smack, uh, somebody with a torpedo. let my team know that they've got a pretty beat up DD and right here I'm, I'm just watching I wanna see what this guy is doing if he's gonna you know turn out uh, if he's gonna try to kite back in here it's gonna be a lot harder for me to to rush him um, but this guy so far he's he seems pretty content now he's he shifted from shooting through through here he's getting into a position to start shooting here which it is a solid position um, the issue is that it does leave him vulnerable to being rushed this way so I'm gonna push up here I'm just gonna try to torp this guy um, just want to try to make him uncomfortable not entirely convinced that enough is cleared up here for me to uh, really push in there and yeah Moskva pops up 
you know, last thing I want to do is, uh, you know, rush this guy with a Moskva, you know, well inside radar range. So I'm in no rush. I'm just going to pull back, get radar safe. I'm just now leaving Moskva's radar range, briefly spot the Minotaur. Just biding my time, watching, seeing what people are doing. Haragumo is, and my Zao is duking it out with their Zao and Shema. Mm. That can be a rough combo on the Haragumo if that, that Shema is playing the uh, detection game because um, that Zao will punish that Haragumo heavy and then as soon as he smokes up, Shema just torps him. Uh, you know. This is telling me that this Haragumo is dead, but it also is telling me these guys are likely to push up here. So I'm going to start, you know, making some moves. I get briefly radar detected, and I'm worried that this is going to blow it. Uh, I step outside uh, radar range, and Moskva is still driving over. So Yamato spotted, just seeing what what I can do. He's still looking at uh, my guys over here. He's still bowing to me, so I'm going to pop speed boost. I'm going to go for it. Um, I know I can get pretty close, and uh, being full health, you know, if he, if he shoots at me, I, I should be able to tank it. So, come around this island as close as I can, pop up four kilometers from him. And this is kind of the nervous time. Uh, well, it would be if I had just seen him, saw him fire. So I know that this is he's a free kill at this point. Um, his guns are turning. He's trying to get on target. So I just dump the torps. And that's a dead Yamato. Now about the same time, the enemy Zao went down, but we also lost my Haragumo, and this Shima, he can try to try to push the Zao, but not a lot of Shimakaze players are real confident about their ability to do that, particularly with this guy most likely has Hydro. Um, so, I've capped B, you know, I'm taking a look, I just want to get a sniff, see what this guy's doing, um, I'm telling my Zhao roughly where this guy is, and I'm starting to think he's headed back towards me, so I'm just going to push in here, I'm, I'm pretty healthy, and... I mean, it's a shimikaze. I, you guys have seen me pick worse fights. Um, if I see him, I'm going to do my damnedest to kill him, and I, he's probably going to be dead. Um, pushing up here, just, I'm not coming right at the, R, at the RPF angle. I kind of want to see if this is going to shift, depending on which way it's going. I know that he's got me located, so... You know, there's a little bit of RPF games going on. So, I kind of suspect, um, you know, that he's headed in this direction. He was actually further out than I thought, and he's trying to book it back to B-cap fast as he can. And uh, that looks to be what he was doing with the way he popped up. Um, he juke me really well right there this guy's gonna gonna do a lot of ju low speed juking uh it saves him from eating the torps but you know the low speed juking it's not gonna save him from my guns got a little bit of bad dispersion there 
but I mean you can see just chunking him and that's him you know uh, shimikaze guns are no joke if you know how to how to aim these things whew. so at this point this game's pretty much done the enemy teams pushed our team out of sea cap we've got a minotaur rushing our montana um, and our woosters probably plinking the hell out of the minotaur as we speak but i mean this game's pretty much over um, so this game rpf torps uh, you know more of the same just waiting for the torp opportunities and uh, in this case committing to make sure I got the kill got the cap and then just clean up the uh, the flank with what's left so pushing up here there may be a Z-52 coming to try to cap B cap. Uh, at this point, the game's obviously over. He's probably just trying to save a star. And, uh, you know, if possible, I'd, I don't, wouldn't mind picking a fight with the Z-52. Um, obviously, this game's well in hand. And uh, if I could get the kill, I'd, I'd take it. Um been a while since I actually played this game I, I think points tick out on it um, but you know we'll we'll see my team picks up C cap and yeah 994 yeah points are gonna run out and that's the game taking a look at the uh, damage report um, looks like I actually hit the Z-52 with the torp so yeah okay well that's the game hope you guys enjoyed it and I will talk to you later